What's up guys, this is Binary for the one here, because Binary is just that awesome, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Um, last time we got ourselves the water jetpack thingy. This time we're going to put it to good use, and do some things with some eh, enemy duders. I also like how it looks like green on my screen, and yet on the recording screen it's like perfectly clear. Yeah. My TV sucks. Um, in case y'all forgot. It's, like, really terrible. Now, we actually want to be heading over to the portal on th this side. Yes, because it's in the air. However, there are some goodies we can pick up in, I also believe it's this side. Everything's on that side. Uh, we actually want to go through the regular door. Also, jetpack thing makes it so -ho -ho much easier to get through here. Um. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Also... Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is interesting. For a couple of reasons. Okay, where are they? Um, Dark Blog, Darkly Possessed Aquatic Predator. Symbiote unable to harness creatures' sonic blast. This is sort of funny because regular blogs don't actually create Sonic Blast, although I believe their scan says that they do. Um, relies close on close quarter combat attacks in battle. Target weak spot in mouth to do damage. So yeah, as with a few of the other darks we've seen, um, the... Uh, the dark blog is slightly different than the light blog. I mean, it looks the same, obviously. Mostly. But now it has these fin spike things that look kind of neat. I don't know. I also don't know if you can see them. But yeah, they exist. I'm also looking forward to editing this and see how different the colors look because they look horrible here. Anyway, Dark Blog somehow lose their ability, to their Sonic Blast ability, which they never had question anyway. Something about their minds makes them difficult for Darklings to fully control. Something with their minds makes it them difficult for themselves to fully control. They rely solely on deadly maws for attack. So do normal blogs. In most cases, they are more than adequate. Target weak spot inside its mouth to defeat the dark blog with ease. Yeah, they also seem a bit more aggressive and faster and crap. Oh, great. Get away from me! Ow. dark blogs. Um, we want to be going to the red door. Um, so, let's do that, then. Um, uh, so obviously we're gonna go to the dark world. Um, one thing we're gonna do is, I'm not sure if anybody noticed, but I completely missed the scan for the hunter-ing. Derp, derp. Um, See, so that'll probably be the, one of the first things we do. Oh, right. Um, because we now have the gravity feet, um, boost thing, uh, these water currents no longer affect us, so... Nah. Which means we could do this. Come 
on. I think I got the timing. You gotta do it right before that. The first one at the very least. Or I can miss the first one immediately after I say that. Energy tank acquired! Maximum energy capacity increased by 100. Okay. And with that out of the way, we can now proceed through this thing. There are grunchlers in this room now, by the way. Uh, oh, right. There's a very specific reason why we... You know what? Are there any other plant duders I can take out? I think that's another Grenchler. I think that's just a dude from another room. So I think we're fine. Um, however, um, that portal there is in a locked room. Which, because of the bad lighting on this television, I can't actually see where I'm supposed to go from here. Basically, there's a switch somewhere in this room. Oh, there it is. I didn't really want to do that. But as you can see, we have no way of getting up here unless we do this. Well, I mean, we could just normal double jump, but we couldn't normal jump as high without it. So yeah, doing that enables us to access the portal and that uh, lore scan. Also, sorry about the scans, and also sorry about the lack of uploads, because this is... Uh, the first recording, I record, I batch record to crap when I do my videos. I batch record like you wouldn't believe. I don't know. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Um, I would like some dark ammo, please. Okay, that seems like a pretty decent supply. Um, so yes. Um, we were not prepared to fight the lo a long war. The forces of the enemy outnumbered ours vastly. We sought a way to make the end of the war quickly. Without extended combat, we decided to build a device to recover our lost planetary energy from Dark Aether. Without this energy, the Dark World would cease to be, and our world will be restored to stable stability. So yeah. So, this is the deep area of Torvis Bog and Light Aether. So you're probably going to be saying, isn't this a bad idea? Because we're totally going to be like, underwater and screwed and stuff. And I say to thee, ha! Of course not. But we mean we now meet this monstrosity. This is a dark Grenchler. Darkling possessed amphibious predator. Symbiosis brings additional power to creature, 
but it retains its key weakness target. It's the back shell to reveal it's a weak spot. Uh, anyway, uh, Darklings are drawn to possess vicious predators, making the Grenchler a prime candidate. Despite the added toughness gained from possession, the Dark Grenchler retains its one weakness, remove the back shell to, with explosive blasts to expose its pain center, then attack the pain center to, deliver, to quickly dispatch pain to the creature. I know there wasn't a pain in there, but I added one in there for added effect. Oh crap, he saw me. I didn't think they could do that. Oh, this one's dead apparently. Oh, and so is this one. Winner! Uh, there's still enemies on radar. Interesting. Uh, but it looks like we can't go that way or that way. So those options are out. Or rather, they're not options to begin with. But we head this way. Um, and we'll s quickly notice that, yeah, this dark, this area in Dark Aether is similar and different at the same time. I wonder if there's anything up here. Doesn't look like it. In any case, I'm not going to be able to get it. But yeah. For one thing, it's not underwater at all, and oh yeah, hey, I remember you. You're that dude that I didn't scan. A new creature entry, creatures entry has been added down to your logbook. Hunter Ing, elite warriors of the Ing Horde. Basic shapeshifter. I would question both of those statements. Deadly in close combat. Dislikes bright light. The Hunter Ing patrols the lands of Dark Aether in search of the Horde's enemies. They can render the bo their bodies intangible, allowing them to ambush their targets with ease. Um. No, that doesn't make sense because intangible and invisible are different, but anyway. I guess they can just face through the ground. Hunter Ink can generate long, deadly tentacles, which they use with great effect in battle. Cunning and relentless, the Hunter Ink will seize their prey or die. Most Ink seem to be like that, but that's... You know what? I've noticed that I say, but that's besides the point, a lot. So I'm going to try to avoid saying that this time. These guys are really annoying. And you like... Anyway, there seems to be something rather... Large somewhere above us. Ah. There it is. Thinks that be our next boss. It's also sort of unusual that we don't get a scan for it right now. Densium, because everything's made of densium, yo. Um. Yeah, unlike the light aether version of that room, we can't get to this. Oh, sorry. Um, we can't get to the center room from there. Uh, here we got a bit of a morph ball maze. Very morph ball mazy. Ah, yes, you'll probably remember this room. We were here earlier. This is that room that we went to Dark Aether from before. This is, of course, going to spawn like a couple of pirate commandos because pirate commandos. 
Oh, hey, look, pirate. Oh, no, it's regular dark pirates. That's actually a lot better than the pirate commandos, to be perfectly honest. Oh, no! I guess now, if I haven't already, um, we can still charge our light beam, but now it just shoots, I think, oh, shot this even weaker than normal. Um, in any case, you best not linger, that's not gonna work. You best not linger here for too long. Uh, where am I going here? How am I getting there? I'm going there. It looks like I'm using these platforming things. So unless that one starts moving, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Or I could do this and stop being dumb. Something tells me there's an item if we keep going up there. And you know what? We could do that. Let's give it a shot. We ain't got nothing. Mu not, we ain't got much to lose by doing this. No, just some light door. Actually, we may be supposed to go this way. We'll come back here when I have better light beam ammo. Or when I have more light beam ammo. That worked somehow. Oh. We're gonna stay here and farm light beam ammo. One more to do it. Perfect. Um, oh, did, 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 no, I'm not, didn't make it. I mean, obviously, you, you saw that I didn't make it, so I didn't really need to announce the fact that I didn't make it, but I did anyway, because I felt like it. Um, yeah, it looks like the charged, um, I shouldn't be charging. Aren't these things... Let's say... Fooge this noise. Now we come to the central hub room of this part of Aether. As you can see, we have a bit of a dilemma. We don't have grapple beam, and as such, we can't actually make it over there. So our only option is to head downwards. So yeah, um, but we come down here because, if you'll remember, there was this thingy. Let's just fly up. Also, I watched the anime for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure recently. I don't know. It's 
It was an interesting anime. Uh, we do an anime thing with my friends, and we take turns watching an anime. We're watching Mecha Next, which means my one friend is going to be complaining a lot because he's like, Max suck because they don't, they're totally not realistic. Which is silly because he can accept the lore for pretty much anything else so long as it's weapons make sense. So, so long as it isn't weapon lore, he'll agree with it. Which I think is a little bit stupid. And like, eh. I'm not going to comment on anything because I can sort of be like that sometimes too. But, uh... Um, yeah, he's quite picky when it comes to anime, just like how I'm sort of picky when it comes to video games. Ah, the, the camera. Actually, see any more of these. What have we here? This is a mutant strain of venom weed. The poisonous plants retracts it into the ground if threatened. Adapted to life on dark aether. Oh, it's not a scan anymore. Sad face. I thought it was a scan for some reason. But now we come up here. I swear there was a boss here before. I guess he left. Or maybe he didn't. Oh, great. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Grapple Guardian, and as you can see, his creature of, or his, yeah, possessed creature of choice is the Grunchler. Uh, Grapple Guardian. Grapple Beam Powered Darkling. Well-armored target uses, utilizes his Grapple Beam to ensnare enemies, weak spots, detected, back, uh, shell, and eye. Uses special attack when angered. The Darkling Grunchler has absorbed the power of the Grapple Beam. It will fire the grip beam to snare potential meals and pull them into its waiting jaws. Uh. You question on that. How does it eat anything? There's a giant hole in its... Whatever. The beam is powerful and can attach to most surfaces, including your armor. Its eye region is sensitive. Damage in the area can induce a state of anger in the target. A weak spot under the back shell is a prime target as well. When angered, it will use a special attack. Also of note, for some, for whatever reason, it somehow... Oh, I'm back. I'm in front of a wall. Help. To be perfectly honest, I forgot how to do this boss fight. Well, it's not this way. It wasn't that way either. Come on. Oh, come on. Really?
So wait, do I have to like dodge or something when Looks like that's exactly what I have to do. Um, partway through the battle, he'll do something different. I have nothing wanted to say other than the fact that I'm concentrating really hard because I'm being really bad at doing this fight. Is it here? No. He does it eventually. He does something else. I... Oh yeah, right, it's when you break off his back thing. Then he's like, Total bullcrap special energy shield using grapple beam. Grapple guardian, injured grapple powered darkling. Target will use grapple energy to protect itself. Damage to its eye will disrupt this ability, however. Oh, I got Majora's Mask 3D. Um, it's a pretty nice game. Majora's Mask is really neat, but at the same time, I sort of... I don't know. Actually... I might as well just be using Light Beam at this point. Because he is dead! A whole lot easier after the previous two boss fights that we had. Also, Gravel Beam in this game is really awesome. In fact, it's kind of cool in every Metroid uh, Prime game. Actually, every Metroid game. Even in uh, Other M, it's really good. Um, I like pretty much every design of Samus, except maybe, uh, the original design on Samus, because the original design on Samus looks nothing. Um, uh, and a fusion suit, I guess, actually. Fusion suit's pretty meh. Um, but... Um, you'll recognize this room, actually. This is where we first entered, I believe. Uh, no, it isn't. Where we first entered would be down there. Okay, so I don't know exactly where this is, but it's close to where we first entered. Um, but now, as you can see here, this is a grapple point. What you do is you lock onto it, and then Samus will shoot a thing, and then you can swing back and forth. Um, now in this game, you actually get a uh, get to see your reticle when doing it, which makes it infinitely better because in the previous game. You had to be looking at a grapple point in order to grapple to it. However, you didn't actually know, couldn't actually see where you were looking at, so it made it rather frustrating in order to use. Uh, in this game, they feel I feel they handled it a lot better. Oh, 
Uh, where have we left to go, really? Somewhere in this room. Um, now, our goal is now, of course, to make it back to one of the various rooms with a portal in it. Actually, we can do that. Um, now we have a grapple beam, we can easily make our way back here. Well, not back here, this is somewhere completely different. But we can make it back here. Um, and we can make it back here. And from here, all we have to do is go to this light portal and activate it. And we're done. Yeah, we're pretty much done with the gravity boost. Um, I don't think we really use it all that much. I mean, it's really helpful, and I'm glad that we have it. But, oh, lore. Uh, the new terror. In time, the Aang began began to possess Luminoth as well as all creatures, friends, friends, and family members became the enemy, spilling Luminoth blood across the land. Desperate, we devised shielding to prevent Aang protect possession. It was effective, but not perfect. Should shielding fail, all Luminoth were prepared to self-terminate rather than become a, a weapon for the Aang. I think that sort of parallels to like, oh goodness, Mr. Fishman was really close there. I think that sort of parallels to, um, uh, oh, jetpack no work. Um, to where in Japan, I believe they do something similar? Oh, that's a gauntlet, by the way. At least that missile tank, oh. At least that missile tank up there. Oh, this is that beam thing that we can't go through yet. Right, we want to go on this. And make our way up here. And actually, I need to light beam. Light beam out. Oh, right, this is the room with the breeds in it! God. One thing I will say about the breeds is that poison gas lasts way too long. Like, it stays and lingers, like, far longer than it should. And then, our bloggling friends are back. That one there, no. But yeah. Having that done out of the way, we were pretty much done with the deeper end of, as I said earlier, the deeper end of Torpus Bog, and with it, most of the usage of the, uh, um, gravity boost. I'm, I guarantee you will, there will be more times we use it, but most of the uses are done, so with that out of the way, um, well, this has been Binary for the Wind here, because Binary is awesome, I'll be signing off and seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye!